talk. Are we on right yeah. now? Let's yeah. See, I don't we, know. Fuck it. Let's no, go in. Well, see, like starting talking. Just here's how the dr- the broettes do it a little bit different than the drinking bros, where we just kind of yeah. kind of talk. I and like, like this whatever, way. Yeah. It's very natural. <laughs> whatever kind of s- place that we start, start? is where mm-hmm. we fucking start. Yeah. But what were you saying? Yeah, because I don't see a lot of girls. Uh, well, uh, let's put it this way, y'all. Okay. I hung out with Jared a lot last summer. Okay. Oh, geez. So what does that mean, though? Well, you know. <laughs> break it you down. You know what it means. No, break it down for me. No, well, please. Well, yeah. Jared uh, is, uh, uh, I consider him, uh, him a dear friend, but he's also a very bad influence sure. a lot of the time. We had him on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so, and I feelings. was vulnerable at that point. I'd come out of, like, basically you know two three year relationship and yes. uh and uh, yeah. is this, one that, crazy is with this him? one that i know of or a different one you well i was still getting over it at that point yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i just went a little, a little hard in the paint over the yeah. summer we've yeah. all been there Lost we've track definitely of all done that. Yeah. yes a gap a gap month it's finally it's finally slowed down in the winter months oh okay yeah. <laughs> so you had you had hot boy summer it was crazy yeah, yeah. I, you know have you have you been to the black rifle ranch out there Oh no, I have not. Uh, oh, just the to, ranch, yeah, yeah. To yeah. set the set the scene there, it's about a thousand acres outside of San Antonio in the hill country. There, that, that there's like a twenty bedroom house. There's this pool up there, and I basically was playing hooky like at least two or three days a week in the summer, going to that pool, day drinking, and then Jared. Oh, yeah. And, that sounds yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Would come over. It looked and, fun. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, it like, looked fun. Living vicariously through the pictures you. Yeah. that I saw of that pool in that time, I was like, I, I was FOMO a little bit. Yeah, like it looked just fun. It is. It is a good. Fucking it's a fun summer. time. So, yeah. What you just entice girls and say, yeah. hey, like there's this really fucking awesome house, a pool, like free drinks. Yeah, we, we, come we over. Would, yeah, we would just have our, our little have fun. we'd have fun out there. Yeah, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Are you meeting girls through Jared? Or I know. That's on, no, that was, like, this was this was nine months ago, six oh, okay. months ago. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I'm done with that now. You, yeah. So you okay. say you don't you don't put that personal part of your life on social media? No. Yeah, you no. like to keep it private. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it, for me. It's not like a conquest. I just sure. I, I would like everyone likes sex. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? Pretty much. I don't yeah. need to. I don't need to be broadcasting anything. Well, and you true. probably see with these other people that put their stuff out there not gonna name names we had them on we might have just talked about them <laughs> but um so these people that put out every as soon as they meet some chick it's on oh, yeah. it's on it's on and they're ready hey, to get we're married, married. And, yeah. right but then you kind of go like i see the demise of how i see how that ends yeah um well, so they- Hanging out with Jared maybe helped you in some ways. Oh, it, I needed. Where I you're needed like, that. you know what? No, yeah. Okay. I needed I it. It was I great need, for me. Yeah, for sure. But it's I'm, it's not natural for me to go at that pace. So eventually, it yeah, seem like I, I started feeling a little <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Did yeah. you? Oh yeah. No, Did you look at yourself in the mirror and go, Jack, snap out of it? Yeah, like, it's what like, like you doing? you're not even. There's no pleasure in this at this point. You're, just on, <laughs> you're like on automation mode. I feel like you did videos like that, Jack. I know. Oh yeah, talking yeah. to yourself, talking yourself? myself Snap out of getting out of laid. I can yeah. see the clip right now in my head. There was yeah, it was too much. Late, Wait, so how do you meet night? girls? Yeah, then? are so you on I'm apps? Curious, do like they they slide in your DMs on social media? Like you at know, all? So this is the thing. I'm a super monogamous guy, and when yeah. it, whenever I'm in relationships, I have a very strict I have policy. a very strict policy of like if if a woman, I don't I don't ever assume intentions, but sure. if a female sends me any type of message i'm super like eh, hey thanks that's hilarious i really appreciate you laughing yeah, yeah. at my videos that yeah, means yeah. a lot thank you yeah. right right so i actually don't have i'm kind of delayed on developing the skill set to slide into dms oh, okay because i was in relationships for a long time and i just wasn't doing that so this is at, at in my mid-30s i'm learning how to do that it's uh, fine you have, yeah. you're you're always learning every yeah, day exactly yeah well you know? you're very too, respectful jack and sometimes yeah. you gotta you gotta be a little disrespectful, you know. Right? Is that you gotta, well, that's the thing. But is you know true. what I mean? We're like you. I know that you're seeing that their intentions are. You don't know what their intentions are, so you're just gonna say, "Hey, thanks." Hey, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, you're. But awesome. then they are like, "Okay, that means he doesn't like me." Or no, some of some girls are. Some of us are aggressive, and we'll be like, Some. "Hey, by the way, I think you're fucking hot, and I want to see your dick." I have like, a lot of gay okay. men that have hit me. I'm up. sure. Just, oh yeah. Why? Because you're the characters you play, or what? He's just a big bear. I, well, I think. Well, I I was sitting at the office one day, and I was like, "Man, a lot of gay guys hit me up all the time. I don't know why." And uh, Hot Logan from Black Rifle, he's yeah. like, "Are you serious, dude? Have you not seen 
the things you do. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, I can't thing. really yeah, tell. I put off. I put off some ambiguous vibes. Sometimes, there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I'm like, part of me is like, he's acting. And then part of me is like, is he acting? Is he acting? <laughs> oh, yeah. you're so good at it, though. I'm super straight when I'm alone, yeah. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I figured that. Yeah. But you're actually a really good actor. I appreciate it. Yeah. Really I love is. acting. My my first official job ever was with yeah. Ms. Wiseman on here. Was it 15. on Range 15? Yeah, and like, they made this teaser video for it. And Jack is a crazy, goofy, you see his videos. Uh-huh. And then we do the movie, and he's actually like, the best act i mean actor actor yeah. in it i thought he's going to say oh thank you shut up but like <laughs> he's a really we even said we were like you need to fucking like move to la and do this yeah he's just uh he's just very real and a genuine person and it just comes through and it was really really fucking good and really everyone was like Impress, like what the f- wow only because you know he's so silly sure and you do goofy shit and yeah, you're like over idiot. the top but you actually can be like really good I you've done stuff it. since that right what are you what are you doing yeah. yeah i don't rely on acting as my main income yeah, yeah, yeah. but i my policy is to never say no to anything Smart. that's offered Love so it. i luckily I, i've done a small like small tv show stuff but i also uh the vet tv yeah folks, so you have like uh, i like done a few your episodes shows with them. Them. yeah yeah i love i've they wrote a really good character named Meryl Kowalski, and, and then I did another it's show. Fucking perfect for yeah. him. <laughs> even just the name Meryl fits Kowalski you. From, that's why I'm growing my hair out right now. We're doing Are season really? two. Yeah, oh, we're doing season right. two. Oh, my gosh. Where do they shoot that? Uh, they film primarily around Riverside County there. They got a good deal with the oh, all right, right. film commission out there. Oh, shit. And it's outside of all the L.A. mayhem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they fly you out and... And hotel you up and everything. Yeah, you know, it's or hang out with the, you. Hang out I'm with the guys out there. I'm not working for Marvel by any means. So <laughs> it's a La Quinta. I mean, yeah. know. It's, a, it's yeah. a red roof, but uh, yeah. it's yeah. a nice one. Uh, you know what? I, I get to take a dump in a nice hotel bathroom at night. It's better than yeah. On but set. that's how it is for us too. But like, uh, but something about being flown out, right? No matter where you you're staying, feel cool. You feel working like yeah. it's a job, and they, they value you. me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know I, wherever yeah. you're no, staying. It's true. Yeah. Wherever you're staying. Yeah, I don't oh, care. Okay. Yeah, I, and I love work. It, it's that being on a vet TV set was nothing will ever be as good as Range Fifteen because that was my first experience, yeah. and mm-hmm. it was with my friends. Yeah, it was and amazing. Yeah, I, everyone at the time was telling us, yourself included, yeah. you were saying like. This is not normal for a film set. There's not this kind of camaraderie. Oh, that really? No. It's a oh, lot wow. more. No one was in their trailers. No one was everyone like was hanging out. Everyone was hanging out, and that's with everyone. The fucking caterers, the crew that like. Wow, so it was uh, as utopian as it can get. Yeah, I would exactly. Imagine. We were in a fucking dream world bubble for sure. Yeah. Um, and then if you've done anything else, what well, that's the thing that we are saying is like, done, if like, you go do something else, you're gonna see yeah. that that was like a dream world, and and the the people that were really valuing it and understanding it were like people that have done stuff in Hollywood before and that mm-hmm. fucking bullshit. And we yeah. were like, we were telling them like, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. And they're like, what do you Wait, mean? What? Like, isn't this it's how it fucking new. is? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. nothing will yeah. ever top that. I know. Because Not for you anyone. Were, were making a movie with your friends and people you loved. And it was very, no like, ego. There yeah. wasn't a lot of yeah. ego at that time. No. <laughs> <laughs> at that time, um, things have changed. Was it? Someone was asking me, "Is it two fifteen or six? We filmed in 2015. 2015. Yeah. yeah. So oh, okay. Five years ago. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I have a lot seen has it. changed. I feel kind of like an asshole because I haven't seen it, and I told you this yesterday. Get. Because Jared was like, "How have you not seen the movie I was in?" And part of me was like, "Cause it, you're in it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck you. Because like, I don't owe you like, anything, Jared. Really? Yeah, Jared. But then once I found, I mean." Jesse and I were close, so once I found out Jesse was in it, I was like, well, I want to see it now, especially because people are saying, oh, my God, I've seen you in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even realize you were in it. You know? Yeah. I, well, I'm like, now I have to, to watch it. To this day, I'm the blow-up tall guy. I just did that tour. Oh, no. uh Oh, man. I just did that tour overseas, and it happens every time. Like, after the show, there's always, like, a couple of people like, that's why I thought I, I, I thought I fucking the blow knew up doll you, yeah. Guy, yeah. Or they'll bring in blow up dolls, or oh, like you yeah. get sent well, fucking that was shit. A, what you had? That was your prop for the whole. Yeah, thing? it was. It's kind of it was a peacocking character <laughs> in the sense that I. It's hard to. Mi- I was glued to a blow up doll the entire film. So. so he didn't think this through because you have to every day get the blow up doll yeah. strapped, to, strapped you to you and me. walk oh around God. with it, blown up, blown up, yeah. and he's like, oh, so that's pop. a lot of blow up dolls. Yes. We went. Th- I went through. I think like almost twenty of them. <laughs> did you have a particular <laughs> brand? that you liked that was they just got more the sturdy. fucking funniest looking yeah, one. Like, you did. I think the product was named like Judy or something <laughs> okay like that, yeah. so, 
Folks, Judy is the Judy, the doll that you need. In your but life. we named her in. Uh, oh yeah, what was her it? name is revealed at the end of the movie? And is uh, it like in the credits? No, no uh, in the last it. scene. Yeah, I I say her name for the first time, and it was a, uh, it was a woman that I actually like. Uh, she was a high school fling sweetheart. Uh-huh. I, I don't know why, but when we were scripting it out, I'm like, hey, let's just give her this name, and uh, and then by the time the movie was coming out and we were showing it in my hometown, and I was like. This is gonna look creepy as fuck if Ooh, she watches shit. this. Did she ever hit you up about it? Did she uh, ever go like? I doubt she even saw dude, the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if someone came up to her and was like, "So uh, you remember Jack? He totally named a blow up doll after right. you." Yeah. <laughs> well, she'll find out. Small town, right? Uh, but she just never hit you up. <laughs> I haven't heard from her. She's got a good life right now. We follow yeah. each other on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. I'm, maybe well, she. Maybe she found it to be. I like forget. a compliment. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I would. Did, yeah. Right. Like, I oh, would. he still thinks of me. Because you were talking cool. fondly about her when yeah, you were revealing I named, it. I yeah. named a Yeah, because you were like in love with the doll. Yeah, doll. So it wasn't like a it bad a thing. thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love it. So what do you have going on with Vet TV? Anything new? You said you have season two. Season two? Season oh. two of the shop. Of the shop. That's yeah. the one that's like the office. Yeah, Meryl like uh yeah, Meryl mm-hmm. Kowalski. I, I think he's the kind of the Michael Scott of this S one yes. shop. Very funny. Yeah. What about Checkpoint Charlie? I know you guys did an, a season two with that yep. also, didn't you? Season two released a few months ago. What uh, big names were in that one? Because I, I didn't see that one yet. Yeah, uh, between season one and season two, we had a lot of like big internet names. I know, names. I, was, I loved Chelsea, it. Chelsea, uh, Trailer Park, uh, Tammy. Tammy, yeah. Yes. Chelsea, Chelsea Lynn, who's one of the sweetest damn people Is on Is she Earth. really? She's I want to meet her. Sweet. She's yeah. so fucking funny. She's just a nice Southern gal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, we had her, Officer Daniels, who's really popular amongst cops. Yeah, and, I saw that. Oh, God, there's so many people. Is, Rich is obviously still in it. R- Rich I is love one you of the main two together. Yeah. I told you that, too. Like, you two and Sorry. the banter and everything that you guys do together, I'm like, I could fucking watch this all day long. We've been buddies for a few years, and when we were just starting the initial premise of the show, we were trying to think of cast. I'm like, my buddy, Rich, is not only one of the most charismatic and funniest people on earth, but he's a cop and uh, in the army yeah. so he'd be perfect for this character so that that was rich's first time on any type of was it set. oh really because he's, he's really dude's good a too. natural when i watch you guys and your scenes i sit there in my head and go how do they memorize all that uh, right well yeah and the thing is like of course i mean this is what you guys do right i'm like thinking of memorization or thinking of how you guys are delivering the lines how it seems so natural and you guys are just having the banter and i'm like this they're really fucking good because i'm breaking it down in my head yeah going like they're really just they're acting yeah, I'm well, impressed. you do, you know, right? You do a bunch of takes. Is there a bunch? Yeah. You do yeah. some cutaways. Yeah. You do your close-up. So there's a lot of time a lot of to like, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and but they're all military, so they're all fucking prepared. That was the thing about Range 15 was like, you got everyone. You knew everyone else's lines. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like you guys seriously. prepare we for really did, yeah. prepared. Whereas like a lot of times actors and definitely in Hollywood, let's say. Uh, you know that there's a bunch of cuts and all of this. You kind of just look at your stuff before. and Oh, really? But um, they probably so natural because you guys are fucking prepared. You read the fucking shit. You memorize yeah. it. And then you get a bunch of takes, right? So yep. you just keep rem- memorizing, memorizing. So, And I, I mean, luckily with that, I was like one of the co-creators. So I kind of had access from yeah. day oh, one okay, material. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. with the shop, yeah, yeah there, I think when we did the first season, I think I got my script like a week before or so. And... I was probably. Oh, I fucking hate that. Uh, yeah, I and I had. I was like, I was probably in like fifty percent of the scenes for six oh, episodes. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. So what do you do? Like, because I'm very new to this world, so I'm gonna ask you guys all these questions. So you guys read them like at night? Are you guys memorizing them? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and like, you have to say it verbatim, or can you be like impromptu a little bit on things, or what? Yeah. How are they with the script? Like, you can be a little bit loose with it. I yeah. Not everyone I, is. I personally but... try to go verbatim. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. But it just yeah, helps if, with but, editing. But something, if you change one word because it's more natural for you to say it that way, I, they've never... Yeah, cool. They've never told me to rein it yeah, back yeah, or yeah. anything. So. Okay. Because I'm like, I don't know how, how that whole it, I don't think works. it's uncommon, even on... And Jesse yeah, yeah, knows yeah. more about this. If but. you do... The main thing is just doing it the same every time, so it's like for the editor. If yeah. you're oh, okay. doing it different, literally if you have a good every script, take, they'll hold you responsible. Yes. Yeah. They'll hold you responsible, and then if it's... You know, a contract thing with the writer, they are like, you literally you have, have to, to say, say it. it. But yeah, I'm sure that's the most like part, big production. Yeah, which I've never been on, but <laughs> I know a little bit how it works, but I've never had to do you it. Were the but, most, you were the most professional actor. You're like the first professional actor that I'd ever like, worked, worked with? with. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You're a big deal. I'm a big I deal. Awesome. I'm a I'm, big I'm deal. No, right I love you. Do, I mean, I love doing it. I just love it. Same as you. Like, I just it's loved fun. it. It's like, great, yeah. when I got into it, it was just like, 
Oh shit! Getting like, into character, like just becoming a character, is fun. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah, and being something else, being someone else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's probably one of the best best parts. You get to explore and and you get to be different, even if it's make believe. And and there's people around. I can understand how method actors might really get into what they do. Like, yeah, right. They're just doing it for fun. They're not trying to be an asshole. They're just like this. Yeah. Is they fun. get to be someone just else. Being fucking yeah. character the whole time. I mean, some of them are assholes. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine doing like a being a doing a method actor on like Jeffrey Dahmer or something like that? Oh my god, just hanging out at clubs, yeah. just honing all the the twenty year old. Do a lot of fucking club. research. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking, don't worry, I'm just doing research. Yeah, I know. Just fucking <laughs> Come kill back to a my guy, place. Right? Take these pills. Yeah, yeah. You kill him, you keep him in your place, <laughs> right? But it's just like Daniel Day Lewis type acting. stuff. That's it. But like, that's you could tell the cops, right? Yeah. Totally. I was preparing for a role. Role. Oh it's my important. god, that movie would do so well if they found out after that you did all that shit. Right. I know. Fuck. Yeah. People would definitely watch it then. Yeah, dude. Like, that guy off. really fucking killed guys. He really to get did. In the, to so purposely get in the Fuck role. Fuck you, Daniel Day Lewis. You stayed in a tent for Collecting fucking those three residuals months. in a prison cell. Yeah, yeah. right. You're like, hey. Hey man, I'm popular in prison. My Method. favorite. My favorite thing ever is Ross did a story a couple years ago. I appreciate it now. He did a story where he was cashing old residual checks from like oh, products yeah, he dude. did 20 years ago. Because they legally have to keep sending you money that you're Even owed. Even if it's really? like... But it's like five cents. Five cents. Oh, yeah. my God. Three cents. And like... Hey, give me that money. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And people, change, but people change. think because they know who you are that you have a shit ton of money, right? Right. So no. I like to definitely be like, here's the check I got today. Just if you're wondering exactly. if, uh, if, how I'm paying my fucking rent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like people assume... If, they assume if you're on television, yeah. you're like loaded. That's it. That's yeah, which it's not the case. Yeah, because you get paid a day rate, yep. and then you get residuals, and like that's it. You don't and just make money every time you walk out of I the know, house and, and you're on People, people Magazine. Yeah. But don't people don't understand that? Yeah. So they're like, well, oh. I just assumed. Yeah. Well, because when uh, Ross was talking to me about movies and stuff, right? A lot of times when they make this movie, they'll give all the actors like this big this set amount right and the movie can be making millions upon millions yeah, upon millions I mean, and the movie will keep making millions but the actors don't right well it depends on what deal you oh strike you up strike yeah. right where it's like if you are smart enough or you know a movie's gonna do awesome you get back end right which i think a couple of people on range I met, did. I met the guy who wrote magic mike oh, who yeah? wrote with it. with channing tatum yeah i forget his name he's a really tall guy former very handsome former harvard hockey player uh he's actually doing a project for a friend of mine right now but oh shit i, I magic mike was since it was their project and they yeah. did it all themselves yeah it's been very good to them and they made sure. the right deal so they didn't yeah. just sell the script they were like okay we will do this but we want to be can you, you have to sign a deal to continue to make money after okay. basically That's otherwise right, no. and they will always want to just pay you right then yeah. right then you have there. to definitely fight for that or you know on independence it's like you never no, I did one where I was just like, none of us got paid. So you just like, yeah, I guess I'll just take points, right? On right. the back end. And we made a little bit. You know what I mean? We made a, it was good. Was it, it wasn't, yeah, it was profit. Yeah. Like we That's were cool. actually started getting Which is hard to checks. Do. It's hard to do. But if I had just taken like a day rate of like a hundred bucks or whatever, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have made that much, As right? Much, but yeah. you really never know. The movie could go fucking could nowhere. Great, and you're like, flop. you have to be prepared for it to not make anything always, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's always. That's gonna um, be hard. Then. Do you say you were in Checkpoint, the movie Checkpoint, Charlie? It was a show. Yeah. No, it's it's a, a, it's a, what movie did? What movie did they just do? I'm sorry. Oh, the, Grunt's they, Life. Oh, I was Grunt's not in Life. that. Yeah. You were yeah. not in that. I was that. there okay. to support him through a couple. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I was not in that one. All right. So yeah, because I saw you out there doing like press kind of with them. But okay. yeah. I'll, yeah. 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 Man, I, for I, sure. I just love hanging out with Donnie and, the, and all the crew there. Greg Kell. I'm not gonna name drop, but yeah. They're just good people to hang out with, and any project they do, I'm gonna support them on yeah even if i don't even freak i don't enjoy everything i see necessarily right but, but they're your friends we're yeah. but they're my friends yeah. yeah yeah how did you um, even get into acting what made you even want to start doing this i feel like off? range 15 um, right was it i'm a writer by trade yeah. okay that's what i was wondering yeah, yeah that's more so most you write of my yeah and most you've of my always income. done that I, i've been doing it professionally for since 2012 okay oh shit um and before that, I worked in oil. I made more money in oil than I do in the arts. That's for sure. <laughs> what would you, yeah. Oh, oh I'm we sure. know that's uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously, this took is a your pay passion. Cut. This is my passion. Yeah, I, yeah. I, oil I, was like cool, whatever. That is, that was great. Got a good paycheck. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, uh, this is I. I there's it's so stressful. Sometimes I worry about taxes and money and 
like where is it going to come from in the future uh -huh. but like it's a drug and the fact that i get to do it i don't want to squander this opportunity yeah. Yeah. to keep doing it yeah i was saying this the other day like uh even being out here right now with like this show and it's kind of little peak that we have right now um i feel like in the past i've probably squandered some opportunities don't you kind of feel like that like i feel like there's been times where like i probably like partied too much at a thing that i should have been do you know what i mean yeah. like, like taking that or yeah like or something it it, when you're younger right you like don't okay. understand the gravity of certain introductions right. in any or industry any yeah. industry where you're like you and you now see people kind of fucking that up right and you're like Ooh. okay this is my moment i don't want to drink too much i don't want to like i want to talk to the right people yeah. i want to be clear but in my past and especially like with acting and stuff i've definitely i think squandered opportunities right i think when you're young or you just don't even understand new, people think it's a lifestyle and they, they they look at it more as a lifestyle than a career mm -hmm. yes yeah and yeah. so you're like oh you're just going out and stuff and like no like go out it's for a reason talk though. to people yeah. I know it's fun, but like, and you want to just like tell them, like, don't fuck fuck us up. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, I did don't too. Have that I extra did. Drink. Like, yeah. 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 Like at Sundance, like we we had so much fun, but we were so they, young, we, right? They wine and dine you there too. Yeah. yeah, and like they make you feel like this is how it's gonna be forever. So yeah. you're like, cool, just fucking party with my friends. I probably missed meetings that I should have taken. Like it's kind of a regret, right? I mean, we all fucking have them, mm -hmm. but. If you get another one or you see another moment that like, right, yeah. it's going to be an opportunity. Now I'm like, all right, I'm taking it. Be cool. Be professional. Like take it, understand it and have a fucking good time, I guess, while you're doing it. Because you don't know if it's going to fucking yeah. go away. I mean, right. Kind of right. It, but I don't know. I think about too, that. Right? A I'm, little bit. Yeah. I've been thinking about that on this trip for sure. Where I'm like, oh, my God, I was so fucking stupid sometimes. Um, Can like, I just say something? What? Yeah. The other night. Yeah. When when, when y'all came to that yeah. the show we did, it was so fun. that was one of the most uh, I, I I wouldn't say nostalgic, but that I had a a, a feeling of euphoria that night because I, I looked loved that I night. looked around I didn't realize it because I was before I went on the, yeah. the show I was kind of in the back there but after yeah, the show and then I you went came out on stage yeah and I can't even name all the people in the past five or six years that I've that I've called friends loved yeah. worked yeah. with whatever. That were all in that room mm -hmm. that to night. see you. Uh, well, yeah. uh, no, not but even we that, but I mean, but a lot of us came to like. You know, I appreciate we all, that, we but like it was. But yeah, but like everybody, I like everybody, and from so many different. Yeah, like, I yeah, know. yeah, right. I saw Patrick. I'm Pat like, Baker, yeah. That. Like, oh, it's he's crazy doing fucking everyone. awesome. Like, yeah, he's living that New York uh, media right, life. Dude. Yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, but independent journalism. Totally. Yeah. Ooh, He'll make fun of it though, so it's kind of yeah. funny. Yeah. He's like, oh, he's not a journalist. He he just works in yeah. uh, the he business works, end of yeah. it. Yeah, I heart. I think is what he was talking about. Um, who else? No, Jared was, was drunk as shit. Okay. <laughs> I it saw you two best. yelling at each other. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And everyone around who didn't we know who y'all were. Know what's going on. Oh, yeah, and they got like quiet. So and, then I, yeah. and then I was like, oh, I'm going to break this up. You know we love doing that, right? Yeah. yeah. We love to like just pretend fight I and literally like, make everyone look at us. You Ross, know I love it. Ross yeah, I was like egging y'all yeah, on. I know, yeah. I know. And I like, it was so it was busy and you people were pulling everybody in every direction. And I didn't get to really talk to you that night, but... I'm sure you it, felt like that with a lot of people too, where you're like, dude, I'm sure I didn't everybody even... felt that way. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Everyone I text was like, we wanted to last oh, wait, longer. Sorry. Yeah, I know. That was, that was, it was the downfall like of the night. Or something, it was yeah. like, what the fuck? Every, it was just getting started. It, it was just felt like. getting started. Because every time I turned around, there was someone like, oh, hey, oh, hey, and oh, my God. We, I've followed you for I know, I followed a year or two for, now, yeah, and we just met each other. I know. And Rich, right, too, I was like, oh, my God, Angry Cops guy, right? Oh, I know. Everyone, like, I was talking and turning around, and it kind of felt like you knew people. People because you follow them online right. yeah 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 you never but met you, they're oh, I know. technically strangers yeah. i met life yeah. i met dame for the first time yeah, like, she's yeah. great yeah and like a couple other people that i felt like i knew and i was kind of like, what's up and you're like oh what's up and we started talking like we knew each other knew each and other. never had met before right. but that's the that awesomeness of event. the group that's a good i like that it was like that for it's you because so, that's how it felt it, for I, me I, for I sure euphoric, like looking yeah. like, these are all my friends i know i miss all those did you come out here just for that for the the rap battle I've done a couple right. other smaller things, but yeah, yeah, I came out here primarily for the for the that bourbons. Bourbons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else were you out here for? Um, what are you out here for? 
we did podcasting yesterday, and I went to a party last night. Oh, sweet! And, and but other than that, I'm pretty light. Or, the, um, it's been hectic, but I haven't yeah. had that many obligations. The uh, <laughs> free range Venetian situation for podcasting. Oh well, are you talking about last night? Oh no, no, I'm the saying oh, for, podcasting. for podcasting. Were you on free range? What's oh, oh yeah, well I mean no, I mean Ross. Oh yeah, we hit did me this. Up yeah. Oh yeah, because you did it with Derek. Yeah, um, yeah, I can't. Yeah. Oh, it looked like you were going to talk about something about last night. What were you going to say? Yeah. Oh, no, I was saying I was having a nice quiet drink with uh, uh, Shauna McGinnis and, and Marty Scoven of Black Rifle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then we were walking back through the lobby at the Venetian there, and it was mayhem. I it was. It, I know, that's why I was we approaching it was the crowd, a sausage I'm like, fest. Oh, my God. Tactical as, pants. As we were approaching the crowd, I'm like, ridiculous. This is the most <laughs> v- the veteran shot show oh crowd all yeah. condensed in one that's area. That's what and it is. And sure enough, there's. Tiff, uh, you were there. Yep. Uh, and then, Jared. of course, Jared, Jared was drunk. just lit. Oof. Oh, my God. He's yeah. loving it. Prime. He's a social butterfly. Crack yeah. Him. Prime. You know what the best part He's about good this at those was, things, too, though. is he was like, I'm not fucking going to the Venetian. Like, and we were like, no, come. And we weren't even there, right? And he's like, I'm not going to the Circle Bar. It's fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, then he's, like he's grabbing my hand. Let's like, yeah. go to the Circle Bar. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I guess he changed his You're mind. Like, oh, yeah. Going. And you were, you were, you were the most, uh, how do we put it politely? You were the most composed person there. Yeah, yes, not I the was. most sober, yeah. but the most composed. No, I, was, I had a little bit of a buzz, but I was fine. We like, drank. I mean, I'm, I was in a fucking sweater. Well, here's the our problem, too. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what you I mean? were like a bag of assholes. <laughs> for for, for I was our like, girl really, listeners. The first time all these people get to meet me who see me on Instagram, which I know, of course I know. you're always posting like good pictures of you, right? right? They sit there and go, really? This is Tiffany? So for our girl <laughs> listeners, I, uh, I yeah. pulled... I pulled the worst friend move ever, which is no. we were both dressed in like just leggings and sweating sweaters. And she was like, I'm, I don't have a change of clothes. Like, can you just let's just go like both like shitty. This. Right. And then we'll you need to have a partner that's dressed the same as you. Right. And I and then she <laughs> fucking changes changed. that all fucking cute on me. And I was like, what the it's fuck's the going on? It's the worst thing that yeah, girls can do to each other. That's why they always fucking call and they're like, what are you hey, wearing? Because you, wearing? you don't oh. ever. Well, you, you don't, don't want to outdo or, you or know, be underdressed. Be you don't want to be like too yeah. fancy and the other girl looks. Yeah. So anyways, I fucked you over no, last night. No, it's okay. Night. I forgive I'm sorry. You. It was fun. But no, it was good. I saw you really quickly. Your hair was like sticking out of the sides. I think oh, you were also wearing a hat. Oh, I'd given up at that point. And you were like, <laughs> and you were like, hey, how's it going? I was like, what, Jack Jack? <laughs> uh, hey, Jack Jack. How long did you guys stay there for? I know. Last what, night? What yeah. ended we just up happening? Were, we swung and said hi to everybody. And we okay. Okay. Came back to the Luxor. I think we had another drink. No, we went to Fat Burger at two in the morning. Yeah, oh my yeah God. that's right. Yes, that's I've been shit, seeing. Man. I've been seeing Shake Shack. I'm like, Ooh. fuck. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of. Food I walk by right here. It's kind of. I might not walk. I not. I might not walk by tempting. tonight. <laughs> I might go in. Well, you're not even tonight. going out with that. You, are you going to the Beyond? Are you Clothing leaving? Party? Aren't you? I'm, I'm oh, rolling you're rolling right leaving. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Perfect. I. You know. I remember the first time I ever. Well, uh, let's put it this way when all the range 15 stuff kicked off, I'd yeah. been coming out to Vegas for work. Yeah. And, uh, range 15, when we did our, uh, big party. Oh yeah. The Paris. Here, yeah. 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 That's when Vegas officially quit becoming like, f- like fun for me. Yeah. Right? Okay. It so was just like too I just went much. way too hard. Yeah, and now, so Vegas now is like, I'm here for work. Wait, I'll drink, sh- but I'm here for work. Weren't you shirtless yeah. behind the DJ? I, 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 yeah. Were you? I, and then yeah, I was the, Oh, it was so shirt. fun, though. I love how, Clint no, I love how you just take off your shirt all the Clint time. Clint Romache and you did what? Were you on the bus when we got, all got naked with Party Ben in the back there? No. And I got ye- We got yelled at. Oh, my gosh. I missed like so 100% many things. naked? We, well, yeah, yes, technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... Party bed, <laughs> myself, a uh, 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 a Medal of Honor recipient, oh. and one of his friends that was with him for the, the oh, day he got I his love medal. It. I love yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we were naked in the back of this bus. Oh and, my god! Uh, rolling down the strip, and that sounds fucking epic. Yeah, bus driver pulled over and yelled at us, and oh, and, and of course Ben goes, it. "It wasn't me. It was the Medal of Honor guy." <laughs> oh, blame it <laughs> on totally him. Are you yeah. fucking kidding yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> totally naked. Does that make it all out. okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is one of those places. Now we were talking about too. It's just your work. You get work done. You can still play, but 
you're here for work. But and yeah, that's absolutely. What I, but that's what I'm saying is we've learned that, right? Yeah. So right. we had, had our experiences yeah. where we're like, maybe there was someone at that party that I should, because I got wasted too, right? Maybe there was someone there that I should have talked to or a sponsor, like, right? Yeah. And like, a lot of people went to those things out of just curiosity, like, how do these guys pull this off? Sure. Seriously. Yeah. And you never I mean, know who crazy. was there, right? And so, but we were so close and we were all friends that we would just all like, hang out together sure. and not talk to other and even everyone else. So it's yeah. like, that's also another way of like squandering the opportunity. Right. It's just, we only had fun with each other. It was right. awesome. And that's a party, which is great. Yeah. Exactly. But this is a networking. I, yeah, know, yeah, I, know, I know. I know. Yeah. And then which you get the card, you get the cards later and you're like, who the fuck? Yeah. When did God I talk to this Or you get a random it's text huge, in your phone. Like, company. You're like, what did I fucking say? Right? Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So like you're, you're there too, where we're just like, Hey, we have fun. We see our people. We come out for work, Yep. but it's an opportunity right now. And yeah, like, y'all are like blitzkrieging these shows this week. I don't know. Like. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's crazy. Back to back to back. It's awesome though. Cause we're meeting so many, so many people, people. I mean, people that we were kind of new. Right. But getting to know a lot more, yeah, that we're like the viewers are gonna love him. So that's why we were like, we have to have Jack. And we were on. kind of exactly. We were I kind feel of like people see a different side of you. Yeah, though. I'm, like what I always see, I gotta be honest. I'm what not, I always see on your Instagram and everything is you goofy and funny, like yeah. all the time. And I, I thought to myself, wow, how can you be like this twenty four seven? Right. I'm not. I'm, I'm and you're not. not but what yeah. you see, right? So I didn't know. You said Rich is super high energy. He, that, what you like, see is what you what get you with see that is guy. What you get. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's like right? Jared. Like, like yeah, just, you, it, that's how it you, is. You know exactly what you're getting with yeah. him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so sometimes you wonder if that's how they really are all the time, or yeah. if that's like the character, or if that's just like clips of what you see. I, I've watched Rich wake up at six in the morning, not touch an ounce of any type of energy drink or coffee. And he will be the same tempo of energy oh till God. 11 o'clock at night. I'm jealous. Not, he, he will not uh, deviate one bit. I'm sure it's annoying sometimes. Now, listen, when you're waking up like, dude, I'm not let me person. have my fucking coffee. Like, hey, buddy, you're ready for the day. Hey, so, buddy, carpe <laughs> diem. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, bro, I need a fucking cup of coffee yeah. first. But good on him for that. Yeah. Because you know you always wonder yeah and so but the other cool thing has been like you guys being really supportive of us too and like oh, i yeah. love when you know like you are running into like logan matt jared and then being like dude you Anyone, guys are doing yeah. awesome so yeah from we really do the, appreciate from you guys. Yeah. yeah and what we like about this show too is like you guys do drinking bros and you are silly crazy blah 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 and then we you know having jared and you or whoever else on here you get to see a side of you they're like talking to two girls Chicks. like you're yeah. a real fucking person right uh, and dropping into yeah. that right. just me and my so dog real just me and my dog, me and my um, dog. <laughs> are you dating or you want to date what's happening right now with that uh well i'm done with the cra- you're done with the, the crazy, crazy hot boy scene. summer crazy fucking yeah hot yeah. boy I, summer can i say that I yes don't know what you're... We, no, oh god fuckity fuck fuck we're all just right there you go we're the same you, just the, with girls the drinking bros Listen. uh media network has evolved a lot in the four, past four or five years so i don't <laughs> yeah. know if like, no, we say whatever oh yeah right and that's one reason why the girls do like us because they're like, oh, well, not filtered. So. Yeah. We yeah, kind of so just say I, whatever. You, Jack. I have definitely, um, I haven't taken a vow of celibacy, but it's. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm, You're focused, I'm focused on focused, other things. Yeah. Okay. I got that dog and that really changed my Dude, lifestyle, man. how hard is that shit, huh? You know what it was? I was always looking, I, everyone wants to fuck, but. I was what I was needing. I love. I love have my arms cuddle. wrapped around a woman yeah. afterwards. I do, yeah. and even if yeah. it's a one night stand, like I like that feeling because yeah, I yeah, yeah. miss, you know, the people I was in love with. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So I was, Relationship. Yeah, I was. I was like f- filling this void, but then when I got that dog, like I You're had like, my cuddle, cuddle buddy. <laughs> Did you? He's a bulldog too. Oh, it's yeah. in their Jack. breed to. to Are to, they? Good they come right up on you, yeah. Aww. He's got a big bowling ball head. He just puts on my stomach, and yeah. Oh my god! But it's like, a slippery when slope I got that jacket. dog, oh. I, I got my cuddle buddy, and that's when I started being like, I don't need to be a, in a relationship. Yeah. Well, banging all the time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Got like my companion. Yeah. Right yeah. Here, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's um, what's his name? Taco. Taco. Taco Google. Yeah. Taco. Yeah, my, what a classy name. My then name. four-year-old nephew named him. Yeah. Oh my God! Really? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Don't let that go too far, Jack. What's where the that? dog's good enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. I got time to make babies. I'll make some babies someday. You Are definitely you? have time. Yeah. Are you, you That's be a all I've ever one wanted day? to do is like be a dad. Yeah. Oh my God! You'd be the best dad. I, I feel came. like I'd be a really great dad. Your Dude, kids would be love you. I, I would think so. Yeah. yeah. I it just no. Uh, 
right now. Sure. I had to no. get some. I'm glad I got all that stuff out of my system last summer, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like 21 again. It was weird. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit! I don't even know hey, if people, I could fucking handle that shit. I think I could. It overwhelmed me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good on you. <laughs> so you have the hot boy summer in, his, in your system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I love it. He's like, who knew I had a 21-year-old in my system? I know, yeah, in my mid-30s. So. I'm like, I don't know. I can still do this. That's great. Uh, yeah, pat on the back. <laughs> yeah. So if you could have kids, how many do you want? Uh, um, one, two Just one, two? Be, I could cap it off at two and be two. fine. You'd one be would fine. be fine. Yeah, I've never, I'd be happy with one. Boy, girl. You know what I want to do? This what? is what I want to do. Please. I, I want to have, I want to, I want to have a biological child. I want to, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, preferably with somebody I love. But sure. if I just knock up, I'm in San Antonio. Women love to get pregnant there. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> that a, thing? It's, they really it's do. It's cultural there. Yeah. They love getting pregnant. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Married, not married. They yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll, but I'll, uh, I want to have a kid, right? But at the same time that my uh, biological child is being birthed, <laughs> uh-huh. I want to adopt a child from a different ethnicity. Oh, okay. Now, this, I'm going to love both children equally. Absolutely. So they will be treated the same. But I want to name the adopted child like, you know, like we adopted him from Vietnam, but he's Jack Manford Mandeville, the first uh, junior, <laughs> right? I want to yeah, make him a junior. To, yeah, yeah. And then I, my biolo- biological child, I'm just going to name number two. Oh right? my gosh. They get the same exact like upbringing, but it's, it's a social name. experiment. Sure. What a great experiment. I mean, wow. he either turns out to be the president of the United States or a school shooter. So yeah, you, you mean number two? <laughs> yeah, number two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh number God. two. Now, what you think? An Asian, black? You don't care about the other one, huh? I'll love him as much as no I'll love what. my sure. biological, yeah. Probably yeah. more than your biological, right? No, he's well, an equal. They're, they're my namesake, he, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a little name. hint carrying of, your name. I'm putting a lot on you because you're carrying yeah. on my name, yeah. <laughs> It'd be great. Yeah, they'll be around the same age. You just tell everyone that they're twins. Yeah, and which they people, would technically they would legally be. Twins. be. Yeah. These are my twins, and people are going to be scratching their head. Going, oh, what and the don't fuck? explain anything. And they're going to introduce their names, and they're going to be even more confused. Number two, yeah. And you're going to internally just Jack Mandeville Jr. right here. I love him, and this is my other lovely son, number two. Number two, yeah. and don't and ever just explain like it. Me. Just force them to ask the question. What is? Is there something? Something you want to ask me yeah. about the kids? Or? Like just, yeah, <laughs> just be totally put it on or, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's be is real though. People issue, are naming or? their kids weird and more weird things nowadays. Oh yeah, right? number two wouldn't be the issue. No, It'd be two, them. Yeah, it's yeah. not a thing. Them wondering how they're twins and how they're his. And how to ask, uh-huh. and what's appropriate. What's it called? And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, uh, you uh, know, like we bombed Iraq because we assumed they had something. Oh, was, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna. I don't yeah. know. I'm lost Presumed. for words too. Listen, Vegas is getting us. Yeah, in exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm worn out. But we're basically trying to assu- uh, uh, insinuate that they're racist before they even open their mouths. Yes, yeah, we're, sure, we're sure, trying yeah. to make make them feel racist before they yes. even open their mouths. Yes. If there's one thing I know. It is easy to make white people oh my feel God. uncomfortable if they feel like they're being racist. Why have you done that? Oh, you have to just say like one I thing. I love doing that to white white people are so, so they get so We're really guilty and we're really up. scared. Yeah. Like we don't we actually don't want to offend anyone. Be yeah. racist, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or offend anyone. So it's super so easy to So once you put that like, on them, like uh, it's oh, why, no, no, I didn't, you I can didn't watch say someone that. I melt. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Twist white people's words and oh. watch them melt. Yeah. Uh, what did you doing that? And what did you mean? What did you mean by that? What do you mean? Yeah. I, no, I <laughs> totally right. didn't. I didn't say that thing um, that you think that I said. I don't know. Every okay. No, I'm not. I don't, I'm not everyone racist. heard it. Just but immediately, sort of seemed like they might feel like they're racist because, like, oh my god, I'm white, right? Always. <laughs> you always basically, it. if you're white and you're walking around, you just feel like you're gonna yeah. offend someone. You're gonna be racist. You don't mean to. Like, I'm you from just, the oh. mecca of neurotic white people. Oh, like, oh yes, you are. Wait. They're all yeah, Minnesota. I was yeah, say, oh Minnesota. Minnesota Lutherans are the, the most scared to hurt anybody in the world. And people polite, you'll ever really? Meet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you grow up in a Lutheran? Yourself? No, I grew up in that cultural area. But yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad is actually an LA guy, so I was kind of really? an oddball kid compared to the rest of the community. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jack, you were. You would never be an oddball, no. would you? Yeah, a little bit. No, a little bit. Well, well, it's because I was the. I was a. F- when I was eight. Like I did that white guy thing recently, the, where I like reflect on my life, like why am I the way that I am? Oh, right? there you go. It's, like yeah. overthinking why, yes. but like I, I did realize I, when I was eight, I got diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, right? So I was a oh. kid that had ticks and shit. Like I was already yeah, yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then because of that, they put me on some meds when I was very young, like at eight, mm-hmm. that made me fat. So now Aww. I was a fat kid with Tourette's With syndrome. Tourette's. Even worse. So Fucking I angry. had to learn to beat people to the punch as far as yeah, making fun of me. jokes and stuff. So yeah. that's like wh- the reason why now like 
75% of what I rely on is just shitting on myself is because so true. that's what I learned as a young child. You did it growing up your whole life. Yeah. Chris Farley was my idol and I didn't realize until later on, like he was doing the exact same yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, was he? And he was yeah. a master of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had no idea he did that. Yeah. Too. Just like, like in the rap battle, you were like, I'm going to fucking just, I might as well be the biggest, I'm just going to be the biggest earth, piece right? of shit. And, and then no one can hold that against it. you. Like, yeah. Yeah. But people think it's hilarious it. and it's part of who you are. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, it is like I'm at very comfortable point, doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I'm not going to drink myself to death because yeah. of that. Yeah. For other reasons, I will. For, oh, for sure. The yeah. war. For, oh my. <laughs> oh boy. Let's, let's hear your oh, opinions boy. on the war. Do you have some? You you never been in the military, have you? Uh, I was long yeah, time. Yeah. Where were you? Yeah. What were you in? Oh two uh, to oh six. Army. I was in the uh, Marines. Marine. Yeah. Oh, I've never I'm an of... ex-Marine. Oh! oh! What did your belly say? I know. That's what left over from the other night. What the fuck is on it? What does it say? It you says Dame something. is lame. Dame is lame? Yeah. Oh my God, you had that on your you stomach. You always have something written yeah. on your stomach. Always. That. Yeah. Oh yeah. Again, <laughs> it's uh, easy. Is this like a minute. surprise? You don't know what's going to happen? I did that. Yeah, I did that USO tour and like every show I had a different thing written did on my really? stomach. Yeah. yeah. So you always have just magic markers or pe- yeah, I always have a sharpie on you with. at oh, all yeah. times. You never know <laughs> when you have to. Go to, right? You never know when you're gonna need you don't a sharpie. Deserve, yeah. Wait, so you do USO tours too? Uh, they're called AFE tours. It's like the oh, okay. government version of the USO. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I've we I've done three international. Wow. Touring bases and doing shows for the troops. Where they have you go? Undisclosed locations. <laughs> yeah, a couple times, but like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, last time was we did eight shows in Kuwait, Bahrain, and Jordan. Okay. Did ten European countries at one point. One we did. Oh yeah, you guys twenty shows fucking... in thirty days all wow. across Europe. That's a lot. And then I've done Egypt, and I went with Jared on the, my. First yeah, time. I was gonna say it was like Jared, Heather. Egypt is always the one where people are like, oh, Egypt, that was a time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was, yeah. It, was it a good time? <laughs> yeah. To this day, Heather, everyone still talks about it. it was, about Egypt? Yeah, Egypt? Yeah, we just had an awesome time there. Yeah. It was just, so yeah. when you go there, do you get to explore and hang out around? Or is it just really quickly, like you're there for the day, you do your thing and you leave? Sometimes, but a lot of time you'll have a day off. So I had a That's day awesome. off in Amman, Jordan, and they had us in a, I was in a suite. And yeah. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes you're in and out, though. Yeah. Um, you but we got to explore Egypt. Yeah. You probably travel more now than you did probably when you were in the military. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. 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 Isn't yeah, that crazy? Yeah, because I went to the same places when I was in the military. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy? And I was in Kuwait. I was doing shows for all those kids in Kuwait. And I, I, like, it, I didn't even. Re- you would think I would because even if it was a short four years, but it was obviously a very uh, big part of my life. Yeah, four years. Yeah. But I don't. I'm at that age and I've been out of the military so long. I don't really think about it that often. Yeah, yeah. And I'm on stage at Camp Buring doing the show on Christmas Day for the troops. And I'm like, yo, I was one of these young yeah, faces here. in this crowd like 16, 17 years ago. Yeah. Did they just look like little babies? They're children. Like, yeah. The, these little lieutenants yeah, who are in charge yeah. of like, like 30 lives. Yeah. They're kids. babies. Yeah. 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 And we thought, remember? Those dudes, times you thought you were all fucking grown. I thought I was like, yeah. yeah. I thought I was a rainbow. Grown man. The yeah. Shit. But then the the people that are my age are, you know, they definitely look the same age as me. That's for sure. <laughs> but they're... You mean good. They a, look good. Yeah, they look great. They look great. There's only a few of them, though. It's, it's a sea of children. Oh, for other sure. Other than that, yeah. yeah. Do you get girls that hit on you out there? Like, I know it's probably a sea of men, right? A lot of dudes. Traditionally. <laughs> I actually... St- it's a, it's like, a, let's be real. It's a bit that Ross would do at, like, drink a bro shows. I hijacked it for the, the military show. Yeah, yeah. I'd, say, I'd get up on stage. I'd look around and go... A There's a lot of dudes yeah. out here. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know because you guys are kind of like these famous guys they didn't coming tell in, me. being comedians. You're up on stage. This girl hasn't really... S- I mean, she's around all dudes, but you're different. Right? I'm a s- civilian. There's something yeah. intoxicating about n- but you're not funny. having one of those stupid haircuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. You have facial hair? Yeah. What? I yeah. can tell you right now, from being in the military for 12 years, I love facial hair. Right. Because you see baby faces all day long. Right. So when my husband grows his beard, I'm like, oh, yeah. you can't get me off of you. Yeah. Even a mustache, like a big porn mustache. That you just look. Are, are you allowed to, your husband is allowed to have the cool guy mustaches too. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, I mean, it's out of, it'll be out of rags a little. Right. And his, you know, his higher ups will be like, heart, that's a fucking sweet porn stash. That's yeah. out of rags. But you could, like, we don't care. They get to push it in that way. They do get to push it. Yeah. Same thing with their sideburns and everything else. You they kind of, like, don't care. Or do you talk about that openly? What, what? he does? Am I, or yeah. Do you, oh, yeah, you yeah, do? Yeah. Okay, so, you oh, know what? Yeah. But I will say this about, I've been around Special Forces guys. They are no different than the conventional guys in, yeah. in one regard. And I'll tell you, they think, like, when I was in the Marines, I remember 
the thing as a, a a young infantry marine is you wouldn't want to look like a marine, so you'd grow your hair as like close to regs as possible, but you could still tell. Anyone oh, could tell that you're a marine. <laughs> these special forces guys, are like we're not like these conventional guys. We don't have those stupid haircuts. No, they. Still but they have all to. have the same haircuts. They, they have do. the sideburns. It's, just, it's I'm like you can tell who the special longer. forces guys oh, you are. Can still tell all day yeah. long. It's like they can't around. get out of the uniform, no, whatever it may be. Yeah. That yeah. is that's probably one of the worst parts for guys because even while you're still in. Like, and you don't want to look like you're in, you do. You still do. Whereas girls, they'll be all day long like, wait, you're in the fucking military? All yeah. you have to do yeah. is drop your hair. Yeah. Exactly. Because you don't look completely different. Right. Yeah. Out here, you can pinpoint every single person that's here for SHOT Show. Absolutely. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haircuts. Yep. Uh, it, look just at the, the posture, everything. Yeah, the way they everything. Walk, yeah. swag. It's funny because my mom, I brought her to San Diego with me. And of course, there's like a bunch of Marines there. There's... There was some army, right? We were just kind of walking around. I think there was some, even some navy, and we walked into Starbucks. And I said, "Okay, see that guy in his haircut? He's he's a marine, right? Just by the way you could tell by his hair and the way he walks. That guy right there, he's actually army." And she's like, "How can you tell him? Like the way he walks, his haircut, everything." No shit. It's pretty easy to identify. Yeah, absolutely. You feel it? Yeah. Yeah, you can spot him from a mile away. I know. You know what's funny too is I I, I was that kid, but I again I've been out of the military so long. I'm like I'm a full blown civilian. Yeah. So. It's funny, I'll be around military towns, you know, uh, like uh, out Oceanside, California, yeah. or Bragg, or yeah, I'll yeah. be in these military towns, and I'm at the point in my life where I'll see a pack of the young soldiers I walking know. down the street, and my first thought was, like, oh, great, they're going to be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, like that guy now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, that guy now that's, like, you. bothered by the youth. Curmudgeon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, did, were you the one who wore, like, those affliction t-shirts? back in the day no. or like MMA stuff because that was like no. a big, that's like the military that was my era though, for pack. sure yeah. yeah because you went in when oh two okay because yeah. yeah. I was oh seven yeah. and it was one of those things where you know you just I was not that guy but yeah there, that that was the you know during I think Under Armour was a big thing too yes. all the dudes were wearing the Under Armour shirts mm-hmm. and like the tight like shirts like yeah. you guys are skinny as fuck and you guys are wearing these tight shirts. They just look ridiculous. And you think they're showing your muscles, and they're not. And they're showing how skinny they're showing you yeah. little baby nipples. Yeah, you yeah, come like... off a deployment, like especially that time period. You look, you look malnourished. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah, you absolutely do. Do you keep in touch with anyone from the military? From Still, military or? Military? Yeah, it's funny. As I was walking in here, a couple of dudes that I served with are in town, asking me if I'm going to be out today. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to see them. But yeah, I there's uh, I, I, I l- 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 let me say it this way, like. Considering what I do for a living, I, I've always said that I don't I don't give a shit what people say about me on sure. the internet or any criticism. Or anything. It's never affected me. The only people I've ever felt that if they were to hold me accountable, I'd ever have to answer to are the dudes I served with. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I don't do like I I, I don't know. I find that I do, a lot. I with... act as military roles and shows. Yeah. And I m- maybe I probably make references to it in my normal like yeah 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 internet content, but if I were to ever like the, uh, they're the only people I ever feel I need yes. to be held no. accountable. Yeah, by. I get it. Yeah. You're definitely me, the same way. A lot more. of people are the same yeah. way, right? If they yeah. were to like call me an asshole, then that would hurt me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. day long. I, I, I'm the same way with the guys that I work with. Yeah. And, and when they, if they're like, dude, okay, you want so, their approval and no, you, do. you don't give a shit about anyone at Burbiz. Yeah. Right. I had a, like one of my old teammates, like I went through oh, that's training right. with, yeah. uh, Ben like came up and I saw him and it, it was just like, it, it brought me back to those memories, like all the shitty times we had together that we had to get through stuff, yeah. right? And you have this bond with someone for the rest of your life. And he hit me up and, was, and he, was, he was like, I'm so happy you're here. I knew you'd be here. I'm so proud of you. Like he it's, just went on and on and so on. Good, He's like, I yeah. fucking love you. And in, in all honesty too, with this whole podcast thing, I've been getting a lot of guys just coming out of the woodwork in my whole career saying, yeah. I'm so proud of you. I knew you'd be doing this and you're killing things. Like, let me know if you need anything. Because you were, I'm assuming you were always like the charismatic jokester in the sure, unit. Sure, I was, right? yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you want to be liked. Every, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I was myself. And of course, I am definitely had bitchy moments because I work with dudes all day long. Right. right? You got to like stick up for yourself. But what they say really holds a lot more weight. You know, I sometimes let strangers' words bother me, but there's like hold that weight, weight. Yeah. Where that would mean a lot to me. So yeah. I totally get that all day long. You want approval from people you love and respect. Yeah. That's it. Because Matt Pretty was the same, same way. He was talking about that with the Ranger. Yeah, Richmond exactly. When he did his book. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, the only like, people he worried kind of, about. And he did a lot of like stories. Yeah, yeah I mean, about he got people. personal with it. Yeah. 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 So, so that was his main thing too. is he said the exact same thing was like the only people I really was thinking about is those people and like honoring them and, or them like giving me shit for it or exactly anything. like yeah. at the end of the day matt best can be matt best but 
the, the people, people know he served him. with yes. don't give a shit don't about give a shit. Yeah. best. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Well, you're who? Yeah. Like, you're so the guy true. we picked on. Or you're uh, the guy yeah, that yeah, we whatever, yeah. whatever. You fucked up this one thing. Yeah, right, exactly. You'll people never remember. Live it down. People that's remember. So crazy. Oh, and that's all day long. That's why like I'm weird about being around veterans. I don't give a sh- I, I I hang out with Medal of Honor recipients, Navy SEALs. I I don't like my own war stories. Yeah, so I yeah. don't even want to fucking hear other people's war stories. I don't give a shit about war stories. But like uh, there's uh, always war story one uppers too. Oh, then that's right? th- all day long in those. Yeah, circle and that's jerks, why I don't. I don't right? like. So, and that's the thing with veterans. Like, you never know, based on an individual's perception of mm-hmm. their own service, what the reality of their time in the service oh, was. Sure. Yeah. So that's why it's important to stay close with your military friends because they will hold your ass accountable. No, yes. You don't get to go out there and be Johnny Hero or Susie nope. Hero. <laughs> Because they can call you out on that. And all day long, great. Yeah. That's to why have I rather, that group of yeah. people. Well, you have I don't to have, have the accountability, that. right? It's nice. Yeah. I felt like being on film sets was the closest I've ever felt to being in the military, as far as really the confusion, the idiocy, but the <laughs> but cohesion. We stick together. Yeah, we had to like help uh, each every other, element, yeah. like in certain situations, lean on each other. A lot of different be moving prepared. parts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Communications extremely important on a film set. Yeah, you yeah. know what I noticed though about and just people chain who of get, command and sorry, yes. yeah, staying in who line. Get out of the it. military is we tend to find that community still right we somewhere love it so else. Much, yeah, we, try to f- we find it somewhere else, the, or if we don't find it, we make it right. Yes, when we, when we, we were doing range fifteen, like. I don't. I didn't like hanging out with uh, Jared and uh, Matt and uh, Evan because they were veterans. I liked hanging out with them because they were creative people mm-hmm. who happened to be veterans. Yeah, so I get to like be around group. people yeah. who are like minded on like different levels. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you get to bond of course. Of that. And literally, kind of use each other as sounding boards. Yeah. Like it, that was one of the funnest parts with Jared because I don't really have a lot of people in my area who likes to make videos so I'm the only oh, one. Oh, he's down, yeah. <laughs> I'm like the only one there. Like I'll ask friends and they'll be like, they don't, I don't know how to act. I'm like you don't have to know how to act. Like I'll tell you yourself, what to do. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's fine. And so when I was with Jared for the first time, he was like, oh my God, we should do this. And I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> we should do that too. Like all these Maniac. videos. So it's one uh, of those things where you really like um, we know you gotta get yeah, out of here. Going. This is the point uh, in the show. I don't we, want this to end. Yeah. Oh, you we love this? you. No, oh, I'm so. Uh, this is awesome for me. To, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, so... I oh, yeah. barely got to talk to you. I know. It's ever, we're here for work. I'm like, this is. We're just like we're this. doing it. We're doing it live. We but, are doing yeah. it live. I know. This is the, hey, I know. best way to do it. That's right? what I was saying. I was like, if we have him on, then I can maybe talk to him. I know. Yeah, we're finally catching up. Yeah. Um, this is the point where we do just like the drinking bros, a drinking broette of the Ooh, week. Yeah, I yeah. think I know what yours is going to be, but why wait, don't who do you think? My, do I get to have two just in case I don't have one? Have two, yeah, <laughs> have two. Okay, someone in your life inspired you that you, a woman, strong woman, whatever, blah blah blah, yeah. military, whoever. Who do you think? Oh man, I, I now I'm on pressure to get. Oh this. my god, we can feel like I'm more being quizzed than I am. No, I feel broette. like I know who you're going to say. Oh. But say go it. ahead, help like, him out. I don't think I. I Becky don't. Mandeville. Oh, my sweet Becky Mandeville, my mother, You're the greatest Becky. woman in my life. Yeah. Yes, I want to nominate the shit out of her for Bro Out of the Week. Okay. Yes. Why? You can do two if you want. Tell I just thought why. for sure. Oh, that I want to hear about your mom. My mom she is, is the most sweet sweetest, angel. wholesome, I can see that. Midwestern woman, and she's Midwestern conservative. Yeah. But this is a woman that laughs. But I've never been judged by her. At, I've shown my. Literally my ass, and she's always encouraged Same. me. Yeah. But yeah. since yeah. I was a little, like, yeah. I always thought like I'm a lot more like my dad personality wise. But my mom is the one that always encouraged me, and probably to the point where like I was like overindulged. Yeah, like yeah. you, you like, were like when I went to the Marines, shit. I was yeah. like, okay. I that was a wake up call. Like my mother was one of those like you can do anything, and then the Marine Corps actually was the first time <laughs> in my life where I was humbled. Yeah, yeah. like mom, yeah, you yeah, lied exactly. to you me. set me up for failure. <laughs> I cannot do everything. That's why you walk around like you're the shit because you are the fucking shit. Oh, but Becky right? Mandeville, she all oh, she uh, always encouraged me in anything. That. So that's I think a lot of my confidence to be whatever I want to do, whatever I want to do, is because of her. Yeah, and she like allows you to kind of make fun of her. She's in on yeah, the joke she's down with it. and like yeah. she's just down yeah, a little bit. But she just but she yeah. maintains her wholesome Midwestern. Oh, Becky so, Mandeville. That's who she is. Yeah. yeah. That's drinking well, bro out of the week. We just, Becky, man, we love bro. her. We love her through she Jack. Knew. She raised an amazing, awesome yes, guy. She did. 
We love you, buddy. Thank, Thank you so you much for so coming. Much for coming. Like, Thanks, Ross. This is so awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad Ross was trying to hit me up last night. I, I, I was I'm glad we were able to connect. So I know. Hell yeah, especially before you caught, flew out. Caught you before you fly right? away, you jet setter. Now I'm just going to go suck down a cigarette in that lobby and do hop it, in my buddy. Uber. Do it, buddy. You can still do it, yeah. Do it, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for being on. I, I Thanks, love you all buddy. so much. Yeah. Thank love you so you. much. <laughs> yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do